sum that up because we've just disagreed, me and Will, saying I think you were lucky to win that tonight. Um, At the same time, he feels you defended well. Yeah, I don't feel lucky. I think, um, I think yeah, we defended well. I think, um, I think we had three or four chances to finish it off, to go three or four nil up, which we didn't take. And um, yeah, there's always going to be a response from Hartlepool. We knew they was going to put us under pressure. We had to withstand that. I thought we defended excellently. And um, if we take our chances, it's, it's a different result. You know, it's a comfortable result. So frustrating that we've not taken the chances, but I thought we were excellent in the way we defended. Talk us through that goal from your 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 angle, your vision of that. That must it was a, it was a spectacular. I was goal. fuming at him. Uh, I've, I've gone on the overlap and I'm saying, get me in the beeping corner. Um, and then you see it flying the top corner. And you're like, yeah, I'll let you off this once. So it was, um, it was a wonder strike, weren't it? But he's got that. There's many lads in this team who have got that. It's just about do, doing it on the, on, the, uh, on, the, on the match day. We do it in the training quite a bit. We work on it endlessly. The gaffer's always putting on finishing drills and phases of playing that final third because we get into great areas. It's just about pro uh, producing um, and turning that possession into chances. Um, so we need to get better at it. And hopefully that gives Gally the confidence and others the confidence to take strikes from outside the box um, because we don't do it enough. Just a word for your defence tonight, which... which Stood tall throughout, resilient, and, and Tom King with some important saves as well. Yeah, I don't remember him making too much saves. He was coming out and collecting crosses. You know, I thought we defended crosses well going into the box. Um, I thought we got out to close down, and you know, I don't think we were under massive amounts of pressure. We were dealing with everything that was coming in. Um, I thought we defended in the mid block really well, um, and like I say, if, if we were more clinical, if we were more ruthless going forward, then we probably would have had three or four. Galbraith's finish was, was pretty decent, wasn't it? He's got that in him, you know, he's got the ability to do that and the same as some others. I showed him today before the game the amount of chances, even um, the Stockport game, there's, there's six, seven chances. Yeah. Well, we had 15 attempts on at goal at Stockport and there's three on target. So we're getting chances, we're just, we're not being clinical, we're not working the keeper, so, <laughs> you know. When you shoot, it goes on target, you, you never know what's going to happen. Leaky, a great way to respond from the weekend, 2-0 uh, win on the road and another goal for yourself. I mean, some, some of your first thoughts after that game. Yeah, no, I think uh, we had to dig deep at times. Um, probably didn't have as much as the ball as we, we would have liked. Um, but I say the boys dig deep and then Gally's goal topped it off as well. Um, yeah, it's a nice thing to have, you know, we're going to, I think we've played better and lost. Um, so you have to you have to take the rough with the smooth, and you know it was important that we got back to winning ways. It's important that we got uh, three points on the board, and you know also important to, to keep our home uh, sorry our away form in really good form, which you know they, they, that means a lot to us. Um, Galbraith, one of the youngsters in the squad. You, you come from a background of working with youngsters, so I guess this team, this kind of younger team, mm. feels well to you, doesn't it? Um, We've got a young team, you know, and you can see that at times. We've got a lot of potential here. Um, you can see the players we've signed. A lot of potential, and it's not just going to click into gear overnight, you know. It's, it's, for me, it's putting a team together. It's putting a new squad together, um, a new way of playing. And, and, you know, it's not going to be successful every single game. It's just not going to work like that. So they need patience, you know. At the minute, they're doing all they can. We've got some some big players to come back. We've got five or six big players to come back that are going to really make a difference um, to our squad. And, and, you know, in the meantime, these boys are giving everything they can to, to keep the form high. Elliot, your thoughts on, on a very gritty, hard-fought win, I thought, tonight? Yeah, it's, it's massive. Uh, as, you, as you know, we've had a tough, tough two last games. Uh, Saturday was nowhere near good enough, but I felt as though we probably should have got something out of the Bradford game. Um, but still, we, we were nowhere near our, our levels. Even tonight, we still didn't play our best, but... Um, yeah, we needed the win to get back on track, get us back in amongst them playoffs, and uh, yeah, a good away performance. Um, not the prettiest on the eye, but we needed it, so it's um, massively important. After Saturday as well, that's a good way to bounce back a performance like that. Well, we know so far our, our away form is outstanding. You know, we, we just think it's what our fourth win on, on the road. Um, you know, the big pitch suits us. Um, we come away confident. We come away to win every game. So. Yeah, pleased to, to go one ahead and then there's always going to be a, 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 a response from the home team. That's the way it is, you know, they're, they're playing at home, they have, to, they have to come out and play and, and they did that quite well. Um, but yeah, I thought we defended well off the back of Saturday. Everything that we, we were missing on Saturday was in the performance 
uh, tonight and you know on another night I think we probably could have scored more. Yeah, the win being sealed I guess in the 90th minute because in the second half Hartley pulled through a lot at you. Of course it did, yeah, but we kind of expected that even before the game. Um, pre-match it was just about getting back to basics, being hard to beat. On Saturday we were nowhere near good enough, like I said, in terms of winning our duels, winning our battle, making it hard for Stockport. So that was what the main focus was about tonight. We knew what to expect from, from Hartlepool in terms of the long ball into the two strikers who were a handful. Um, and then they have some tidy players off it. I played with Callum Cook at Bradford, who's, who's a real tidy player and can be a threat. So we needed to minimise their threat and get bodies around it. And I thought as though we did that well, but in the second half, I thought we had the better chances on the break. We had about three or four chances where Galley put them to bed and it's a comfortable evening then for the rest of the time. But it was an enjoyable last 90 seconds after Galley put that one in the top corner. You told me pre-season that you weren't going to do a goal gift because you weren't going to score. You've got to <laughs> yeah, now. You, you're getting in the right places, aren't you? you? You know, getting good chances. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, obviously, it's a great ball from uh, from L. Um, just, just right time at the back post and just little tap in there, so take it. Just spoke to your manager there and he, he obviously described you accurately as a young squad um, where things haven't fully clicked yet, but mm -hmm. you find yourselves in, in the playoffs, so you can't be going that bad. Of course, yeah. Um, and I spoke to my dad about it after the game against Stockport where a lot, a lot of us are learning on the job. There's lads in there who haven't played many league games. Um, I think Simo um, and, and a few others who haven't played many games, so they're kind of learning on the job, so at the same time you need to be patient with them. Then it's up to the likes of, of me and the, the other experienced lads who have played quite a few games to, to, to kind of hurry them up in the learning and, and bring them with us on the journey. So they're doing really well at the minute. I think simo has been really good the last three games, actually. From Rochdale when he scored in the Papa John's um, on Saturday, he was creative in the second half, and tonight he worked his backside off for the team. Um, so hopefully he can carry that form on and, and get a few more goals and assists. You've got to win that way sometimes. You know, the gaffers just said before we come away to places like this, and it's going to be a difficult night, but adapted well and came away with three points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course it's not gonna it's not gonna be pretty, you know, especially away from home. Um, I think we, we bounced back really well from the weekend. Um, you know, we dealt with a lot of crosses, you know, as a team really, uh, back to front. So yeah, we're, we're really pleased. I think you have to take them away, you know, it's it's not easy to come to Hartlepool on a Tuesday night, it's never going to be an easy fixture and, you know, you have to sit into a certain point, but they're the moments that you have to take advantage of and we need to be better at taking advantage of, of our moments and, and finishing the game off. We knew if we got the second goal, it would close the game down um, and we should have had it way before it, before it came.